let this week be a week of favor let this week be a week of grace let it be a week where you experience the power of the holy spirit your intimacy with the holy spirit will grow this week you will be more enlightened this week the reality of your dominion will be made manifest this week i call forth help us to your life every project you are involved with i declare that you prosper i say it again prosper i say it again prosper no weapon fashion against you will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you will fall in judgment joy and laughter will be your heritage this week in the name of jesus you are protected from evil protected from sorrow protected from sadness the joy of the lord is your strength you will be a believer with a difference i place grace upon your life return with testimonies your families are blessed the works of your hands blessed your spiritual life blessed i speak over your finances let the long-awaited testimony manifest this week i say it again let the long-awaited testimony of favor lifting jobs let it manifest this week in the name of jesus christ and i pray that whatever made you cry the week past in jesus name it has no power over you this week enjoy the grace of god for in jesus name we pray i want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again this night as you go to sleep dreams that you've not had before visions of things you've not seen before in the name of jesus the blueprint the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life may it be downloaded to your spirit man downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of jesus Do you believe what you're receiving? Let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection. Are we together? Our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life. Any journey you would take that will not allow you to return home, I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again. Any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment we release angels to be on assignment in the name of jesus christ you are preserved from the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday i declare none shall come to your dwelling my final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life that means your prayer life that means your word study life that means your passion for the things of God. That means your character. I pray for you. By all means, be as spiritual as you should be. That means be as prayerful as you should be. As word compliant as you should be. As transformed as you should be. Men and women of character by the Spirit. Doing exploits for the kingdom. Everything that represents slumber, spiritual laziness, laxity, death of your prayer life, your communion with God, I declare be delivered from it now. I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who are prayed, you are fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors, be open now doors be open doors be open doors be open doors of ministry marital doors fruitfulness doors financial doors a fata be open
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost but every attack on the works of your hands you will be mistaken to imagine that everybody is clapping for you when you should be receiving an upload I pray for you anyone praying in the secret or in the open for your downfall so they rejoice for you to go down in ministry in business I pray they will not only be disappointed they will be the victims of their plot oh may the curse of Haman come upon them that the pit they dug for you they fall into it The Bible says, when Haman dug a pit, preparing to bury Mordecai, that same night, the king could not sleep. Whoever needs to wake up by God, so that they will avert the destructions that have been plotted over your life, your business, your ministry, your family, by all means, may the Lord of peace raise them and bring them for your rescue. In the realm of the spirit, a name is more than a means of identification are we together now to the an extent that God would call Abraham Abraham Sarai Sarah Cephas Peter I want to pray right now I'm going to stretch my hands towards you the power of God is going to come you don't have to change the name physically but from the realm of the spirit any connection with any name in the name of Jesus those in front I stretch my hands right now every altar that powers any name to walk evil over you in the name of Jesus I declare right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break break now 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 every name connected to ancestry I'm saying it again names that came as a result of dedications done to idols names that came as a result of covenants with the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead from the realm of the spirit I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I'm telling you I'm just see fire rising in front that's what I'm saying I say it again I break the power of those names now the power of the help that woman the power of those names now plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression Go forward, go forward, go forward, advance, progress in destiny. Name of Jesus, whatever has silenced your influence so that your voice will not be heard, I call upon the God of my covenant. May you be heard from today. May you be heard from today. Let the ends of the earth hear you. Let the ends of the earth hear you. My assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard John said I am the voice of one crying he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice 
I came by the road of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that silence comes to an end. Everywhere your finance is for this season, can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men. From your father to your mother to your siblings to you, every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing and I declare, may it bring you profiting. 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 What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in the UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life. Attacking your word study life. Attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things. It dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers. Like Ahasuerus. And make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. And therefore, where you have been stagnated, like Moses told the nation of Israel, go forward, go forward, go forward, make progress, accelerate, Go forward. I prophesy, go forward. Elevation Church, the global expressions. Go forward in America. Go forward in Canada. Go forward in Europe. Go forward in Lagos. Go forward in Abuja. By all godly means, make progress. In the name of Jesus, run through troops. Leap over walls. In the name of Jesus, let there be an avalanche of testimonies. Let young people in this church do mighty things before the end of 2024. In the name of Jesus. Accelerated testimonies. Excelling in ministry. Excelling in business. Excelling in family. Excelling in careers. I open the tulip gates of nations for you. 
access the nations needed for your rising access the nations needed for your shining access systems and structures we put them under pressure for your sake financial systems economic systems political systems we put them under pressure for your sake by all means go forward go forward in righteousness go forward in grace in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands over everyone under the sound of my voice and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead right now the grace for speed wherever you are i decree and declare may that grace rest on you now may that grace rest on you now take that grace now in the name of jesus please help that gentleman help those under the anointing so they don't injure themselves i decree and declare where you have been crawling i give you wings in the spirit you will run like elijah in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus may my god put 10 years in one year 10 years in one year one year in one month 10 years in one year Bakashopreketabata. 10 years in one month in the name of jesus where you have been forsaken so that no man will walk through you i call you an eternal excellency a joy of many generations hear me in the name that is above all names i pray for you anybody who has what it takes to lift you listen listen the man at bethesda john 5 when jesus came and said why are you still in this situation his answer is found in verse 7 he said i have no man when the water is there to help me i have no man i pray for you the north the east the south and the west wherever the helpers of your destiny are i declare by prophecy may they gravitate towards you 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 in the name of jesus daniel chapter 2 when you read from verse 28 it says then the secret was revealed unto daniel the secrets of the lord the bible says is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants we triumph in life on the strength of the secrets we have found the mysteries of the kingdom i pray for someone the miracle of open eyes the miracle of open eyes may you see what others have not seen let it give you an edge in life let it give you an edge in business let it give you an edge in your career in the name of jesus christ listen some of you are great warriors but it takes beyond a bow and a spear to bring goliath just because you have tools don't mean you are allowed to use any of them you must be directed on what tool brings what victory you may have your armory but if you stand before goliath with your sword you may not defeat goliath if you stand before jericho with your weapons you may not scale through are we together now god must reveal to you what strategy exerts dominion over what season the challenge with many people is because the red sea parted you always want the red sea to part there are times the river will not part you will walk on water there are times god will give you a boat the strategy for every season i impart that grace upon you the strategy for every season i impart that grace upon you the strategy pre-covid may not be the same strategy post-covid just because you succeeded before covid the grace to reinvent yourself the grace to evolve the grace to innovate to obtain higher and greater strategies applicable for the time i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ therefore where you have been stagnated like moses told the nation of israel go forward go forward go forward make progress accelerate go forward i prophesy go forward elevation church the global expressions 
Go forward in America. Go forward in Canada. Go forward in Europe. Go forward in Lagos. Go forward in Abuja. By all godly means, make progress. In the name of Jesus, run through troops. Leap over walls. In the name of Jesus, let there be an avalanche of testimonies. Let young people in this church do mighty things before the end of 2024. In the name of Jesus, accelerated testimonies, excelling in ministry, excelling in business, excelling in family, excelling in careers. I open the tulip gates of nations for you. Access the nations needed for your rising. Access the nations needed for your shining. Access systems and structures. We put them under pressure for your sake. Financial systems, economic systems, political systems. We put them under pressure for your sake. By all means, go forward. Go forward in righteousness. Go forward in grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as you make progress, I pray for your spiritual life. You will not prosper at the expense of your prayer life. You will not prosper at the, extent, at the expense of your integrity. You will not prosper at the, extent, the expense of your loving Jesus. That while you rise, while you accelerate, while you make progress, while you command speed, may your fire never die. May your prayer altar never go down. May your consecration never be compromised. In the name of Jesus, we are going to shout seven believing amens and I'm done. Are you ready now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God bless Everything that fights your influence, fights your relevance, by this grace, it dies here tonight. Hear me? Every man of God connected to this grace, every true son and daughter in ministry, I pray for you, for the sake of his majesty, rise to a global scale. May the nations demand your grace. May they honor Jesus in your life. I will multiply them, they will not be few. I will glorify them, they will not be small. I say it again, be multiplied. May you experience the glory of God. Now hear me, hear me. I'm praying for you. Grace to not be distracted by every blessing God gives. Receive it. Grace to take care of yourself, your children, your family. When he blesses you, receive that grace. Grace to support the work of the kingdom without coercion and manipulation. Receive it. Grace to be a blessing to everyone around you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God will give you wealth that will last. You will not go up today and down tomorrow. You will not be wealthy today and be a beggar tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you. Any one of you who has been involved in any practice, financially speaking, that has drawn a cost to your life or to those around you, you see that now, the integrity of heart and loving Jesus, serving him and living for him even with your finance your finance is also an act of worship i pray for you if there is any embargo that authorizes hell to keep recycling poverty and pain and want and lack around your life in the name of jesus let the blood speak let mercy speak let the blood speak let mercy speak and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please be silent 
I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants, aha, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you there's, there's such fire that is moving. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance for such people, supernaturally. Please bring them out. Whether for individuals or families, very quickly, men and women, everything that has tied your progress, I decree and declare right now, be released. Be released, be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. The fullness of your days, fulfill it. Every pattern you have seen that is now beginning to manifest in your life and you are afraid, will I die? Am I also going to go like that? By reason of tonight's teaching, I cut you away from it forever. The spirit of untimely death that is sweeping across Africa, across Nigeria, destroying brilliant minds, bright potentials before their time. I decree and declare you are covered supernaturally. We're approaching the festive period and naturally people travel, some by sea, some by air, some by land, and then some by any other means. People will travel within the country and across the globe, I decree and declare, no evil report shall be heard about you. In the name of Jesus Christ, evil that is plotted against you, it returns back to the devil. Back to the devil. Back to the devil. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any family that has repetition of patterns of death every year or every two, two years or every three, three years, somebody must die. And for some, it has even happened this year. In the name of Jesus, the last one that happened is the last that happens in that family. Patterns of death broken right now. Every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things, driving good people, making you see good as evil and evil as good, I decree and declare, let that cloud be lifted from off your head. Every demonic force manipulating your reasoning, always making you to get into trouble, making bad decisions, I cry unto God again, in the name of Jesus, may your mind be under the influence of the Spirit of God. Superior destiny advancing decisions. Ministry advancing decisions. Finance multiplying decisions. Grace multiplying decisions. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever represents shame, reproach, and stagnation, after this miracle service, you will see them no more. Can I declare favor upon your life? In the name of Jesus, I call upon Ebenezer, the helper of men, the one who can open doors, granting you unusual kindness from men, unusual access and unusual acceptance. May that grace come upon you now. Yes. Hear me. You are a man of God here. I release grace upon you. Go back and do ministry at another level of impact. 
you are a businessman here I prophesy upon your business provided what you are doing is with integrity and is towards the building of men I declare prosperity upon it in the name of Jesus I've seen my own may you see your own in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of Jesus Christ by your reception of these manifold graces I'm praying for you results you have not seen from January till July begin to see them from this night results you have not seen from January till now I say to you again begin to see them from this night fearful results in ministry fearful results in business fearful results in family I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey. And may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts. And may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.